Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to figure out the quarter from an invoice date or purchase order date. If you want to follow along, this is from my Excel Level 2 class. Just start Excel and go to column G and type in those dates that I have. Just like when I do instructor-led training, I'm going to explain why this works. So we need to learn two new functions today. The first I'm going to click over in cell K2 is the month function. Equal symbol, M O N, tab, G2, enter. The month function simply pulls the month out of a date. So I should get the number three. Perfect. I'm good. Auto fill it down. It's working. The other function you need to learn is I've already typed in these numbers with decimal places. I'm in cell J2 is the round up function. The round up function has two arguments. The first is the cell reference, comma. Then it says number of digits in bold. I want to see zero digits. So when I pull this down, I should get the number two because it rounds up. I should get a 3, I should get a 4, it's working, I'm going to pull it down. So that's the round up function which has two arguments. There is the month function which has one argument. So we're going to combine those together and H2 is equals round up tab. Then I'm going to figure out the month tab from that date divided by 3, comma, and I'm back on the roundup function, and I'm going to round up zero decimal places. Press enter. I should get the number 1. If you get a message that says yes or no, hit yes. I'm going to pull this down. I should get another 1, and I'm going to talk about this one. The month 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So if I round it up, it's going to round up to 1. 4 divided by 3 is 1.33. Round up 1.33. Zero decimal places is 2. So now you see how it's working. And those are all correct, by the way. So now you've learned the month function. You've learned the round up function. And then we combined them together to figure out the quarter in Microsoft Excel. Uh, feel free to contact me for Excel training. Thank you.